of Def Leppard for you. Yes, welcome <laughs> back to the Nine receive. on Belle Isle. We have some Def Leppard. Pour some sugar on me. This has been a great morning out here on Belle Isle. They have really done a great job getting the island ready for this year's Grand Prix. And just pour some sugar on me. Nah, on me. Not me. You're right, exactly. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the last driver says he gets pumped up with, right? So The last time I said that, it wasn't good. No? <laughs> <laughs> Slap. <laughs> well, our final guest of the morning, Paul Fix. And it, what's funny is you're a race car driver, but we usually talk to your wife. Yeah, she, she's usually with you all the time doing all the car uh, car stuff, for sure. She's one of our but car care experts. But today, it's all about you. Tell us uh, what you've been doing to get ready. Oh, this, this track is fantastic. I've been uh, dying to come back here since 2001, which is the last time that uh, the Trans Am Series was here at Belle Isle. And uh, Trans Am is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the series, started in 1966. So uh, today's first session was a practice session. Uh, it was great. It was really great. And we're going to have a great race qualifying this afternoon. It'll be fantastic. We just spoke with uh, Todd Naparowski, who was also in the Trans Am Series. Do you race in the same class as he does? Yeah, so there's uh, a couple of different classes. Uh, I'm in the fastest class, which is TA. So uh, we're 800. He said he was in the fastest class. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Which one is it now? <laughs> you both listen to Def Leppard, apparently. No, 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 no. <laughs> So, yeah, we're 850 horsepower, five-speed sequential gearbox. So uh, at this course, we're probably geared for uh, about 175 miles an hour down the back street. Woo! Better wow. you than me. That is fast. Yeah. So it's really quick, really fast. Take Ryan on a ride. He loves fast <laughs> yeah. rides. He was saying how he can't handle the thrill of some of these rides because they do almost hit a wall. I like every watching, day, right? but I don't want to be in that car. <laughs> no, it takes, a, it takes a special mindset to do that. you got to have ultimate focus, and uh, uh, you got to pick up all your brake markers and where to get the throttle and Absolutely. everything. Absolutely. And it's not just about racing. It, there's a strategy in the pits as well. It, 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 a, lot, a lot of times it comes down to that, doesn't it? Yeah, in our series, we're... Uh, 100 mile sprint races so hopefully we don't make any pit stops and uh, we can go the full distance with the fuel that we have on board and uh, we've set our tire pressures and everything else so that we get the optimum for the uh, the car and, and we can go the distance without too many problems. So the only time you're stopping is when there's a problem exactly. right? We don't want that to happen. Around the series though how important is this race here in Detroit? The Motor City? The, the well, yeah, this is this is the Motor City yeah. muscle car. It's the, you know that's what our series is all about, muscle cars. So you know the Camaros, the Corvettes, and uh, the Mustangs, and so forth. That's you know the real uh, uh, embrace of the Motor City, and that's what we all love to drive out there as, as sports cars. And that's what our our series is all about. Oh, well, thank you so much. We've got to go. And uh, thank you for being with us today. I have my phone out because Thanks. we have to name the mug winner oh, for today. Brenda Stephan of Harbor Springs, you are the mug winner. Thank you all for joining us today. Come down to free pre-day until 6 o'clock and enjoy the Grand Prix this weekend. Have a great day. doing their thing here. The Trans Am Series is one of them, and Paul Fix is uh, one of the drivers who just had a chance to hit the course and check it out himself, and now he's joining us live to talk a little bit about the complexity. You know, Dina, our anchor, was talking about how when you see it from the air, you can really tell how difficult some of these curves are. This is not an easy track. No, it, it isn't. There's a lot of pavement change, a lot of concrete and asphalt, a lot of transition, some new pavement, but that all, you know, creates uh, drama, obviously for you know deciding how fast or slow to go through the corner so it is there's a lot of mental preparation uh, you know to go out onto the track and survive a lap you're hearing and you're seeing right now the images and the sounds this sound is synonymous with the Motor City when you come to Detroit from out of town what do you sense in the air here on Belle Isle Oh my God, everybody just loves cars, number one. I mean, Detroit, you know, the birthplace of, of automobiles, and uh, everybody is just so friendly and loves cars, appreciates and uh, what, what I'm driving, and uh, asks a lot of questions. They're very engaging. It, it's just fantastic to be here again. Well, Paul Fix, it's good to see you. We thank you for joining us live on the air here. Thank you so much, and good luck out there with the Trans Am Series that does continue. Um, you know, Dina, that's exactly it. You know, you put all differences aside, and everybody has one thing in common when they hit Belle Isle. They love cars, they love that sound, and they love to hear and see what you're hearing and seeing right now.